Hi everybody, it's Donna here, occasionally Shaja, and I'm here with another project share, and this is my second Marie Antoinette shoe, as you can see. So I'll go over it quick with uh, for you, and um, tell you just a little bit about what I did. Um, it's it's obviously the other shoe that matches the other one in terms of the original, but they're totally different. So. Um, this time what I did is I got a brocade uh, fabric in pink, which is actually the same fabric that I, I had the other one in, um, except this one's in pink and it has all the gold through it, as you can see on the toe here and around to the side of the shoe. It's quite a shiny, shiny little shoe. And uh, again, I did the braid around the edge, but then I went over it with this smaller, I don't know if you can see that, a smaller gold braid. There we go. So there's a little braid on top that has gold in it and then the whiter braid uh, underneath. And um, in the front, the piece that really says it all, well, that's a good shot, is this you know, this is what makes our projects so unique. We can buy a lot of the same crafting, you know, materials, but really what makes them unique are these pieces that we find that are almost one of a kind or, you know, you just don't see it. I know when I was starting this, I thought I was going to put one of those cameos in the center, um, you know, maybe the little angel cameo or, you know, a woman's face. And we all have those um, in different colors and things. But what really makes these things special is when we can find junky jewelry at a, you know, a bazaar or a thrift shop or a yard sale. And if we get that, that really makes these different. So anyway, this is kind of a frosted glass. And um, as you can see, it's got some all kinds of colors. It's got pinks and purples and yellows and greens. It's really quite a little pretty. And it does have some gold in it. And actually the background through this is a very light gold. So it goes quite well. And what I did is I had this brooch um, that I, I don't know, I got it somewhere in some junky bazaar uh, thing. And I just thought, well, I could probably do something with it. And actually it fit pretty well. So I um, busted off the back of the brooch and I popped that on the top and then I put this pink trim around the edge of the back there and then I had that gold metallic trim which I have as you can see all around the shoe here and what I did is I took that there that's a better shot what I did is I took this gold metallic trim and I kind of made a flower out of it, gathered it up, and popped that behind, um, yeah, behind the gold there. So you can see a little bit of that gold peeking out behind the pink. Then I had this, this is one of my favorite laces. It has the little pearl beads in it. I don't know if you can see it. It is so pretty, it makes a beautiful flower. Well, I did two circles of that just to really fluff this up because I really wanted this quite fluffy. Then I had this uh, old, I have a spool of this old um, lace. It's probably, I would say it might be a three inch lace. And it's a very, very soft, more of a fleshy pink. Um, it almost looks avocado dyed, but it's not. It's the color that I had got it in. And I made a big fat ruffle for behind. Added my two types of flowers, uh, flowers, yeah, feathers, and actually there's three types. There's this one in white, then I have this real soft uh, beige colored one here, and there's these little spikes that stick out. At, well, this feels like it might be a goose, I don't know, goose feather or something. And on the sides here, where the braids come together, I added the little pink cluster of pearls right there. Um, so that's it. And as you can see on the inside, I'll see, I stuffed the toe again and then put a piece of fabric on, stuffed it with a paper towel. So that's it. So that's my shoe. I think it's pretty Marie Antoinette-y. Um, I'll show you the two now in comparison to each other. It's funny, when I, when I did this one, I thought, wow, this one is really, you know, 
so Marie Antoinette, and it really, it, it is, and, you know, it has the lovely, that lovely piece in the center there, and I did use a picture frame on that one, but this one, this one is just totally different. Obviously, she might have worn this one around the house and this one to a party, but anyway, um, so those are my Marie shoes. I'm glad they're done. I've been doing a lot of Marie stuff, so I'm getting a little tired, a little tired of old Marie, but um, I still have stuff to do, so I am going to continue working um, this month and getting my things done. I'm going to be working on a tassel doll for myself, um, and so that's part of the project. But one other thing I thought I'd show you real quick is I picked this up at my little thrift store, which I absolutely love, this little thrift store. And it was a little clock, and I thought it was definitely Marie Antoinette. So this little clock, let me see, it probably needs to be wound. Well, it's still work. I can hear it. Yeah, it's still working. And actually, it's keeping pretty good time. That's about the time it is. Um, it's got a cute little face. It looks like those hands are glow in the dark. Um, it does have some blue on here. You probably can't see this dots, little blue dots that match the arms. But what I did is I embellished the bottom. And I just wanted to put some flowers and make it super fancy. So as you can see, it's a cream color. It's trimmed out in gold. It's got the little feet here. I added a little... Um, Oh, one of those clay flowers to the top so it you know it does uh, add dimension as you can see it does stick out a bit um, the back is here like this and what's interesting is it does play a little song let me see if it'll play well, I probably have to wind it to play but anyway um, it does play a little song so I don't know if you can hear that. So it's my cute little clock. I think I paid, I don't know, it was probably two bucks, three bucks, something like that for it. Uh, but it plays Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head. I thought it was going to play something like from the 40s or 50s. That's what it looked like. But uh, no, nope. Inkle Bird Humpadink. So there you go. Anyway. That's my latest little find and my little altar. And I didn't alter it too much. It did have some flowers here, but they were all like um, funky colors. And I thought, oh, it would look prettier like that. So that's, let me turn my little music box off here. Okay. So for a few bucks, I thought it was absolutely adorable. And I think it goes with, you know, Marie and all her friends and all that jazz. So anyway, that's it for now. Stay tuned for my next video. It's going to be a face-to-face, -face, my first face-to-face -face ever, so that you can put a face with the voice and uh, the accent, the Boston accent, and um, it may be my last face-to-face -face as well. I'm, I'm not big on doing those, but anyway, I think it's going to be a, kind of funny. So um, that's it for now. Have a great Sunday. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.